Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the horrid reason why Lizzo changed the lyrics to girls. Let's get right into it. Is there anyone out there who isn't familiar with Lizzo at this point? Lizzo is a superstar, and whether she's pumping out a hit reality show, releasing new merchandise, or releasing incredible music, she can do it all, and she's making a fortune for her efforts. Lizzo is widely regarded as one of the world's most popular musicians. Having said that, she recently became embroiled in a controversy after someone pointed out her unintentional use of a slur. There aren't many figures in the music industry who come close to matching the love that Lizzo receives on a regular basis when it comes to the biggest and brightest stars. She has been a dominant force since breaking out, and fans know that amazing things are on the way when she prepares for a new release. The incredible success of Truth Hurts propelled Lizzo to superstardom in 2019. Since then, she has not only released her own bangers, but has also collaborated on high-profile songs that have dominated the Billboard charts. Considering that it's only been a few years since she broke out, Lizzo has managed to accomplish a lot in her career. Four of her songs have cracked the top five on the Hot 100, and her 2019 album, Cause I Love You, has been certified platinum by the RIAA. Lizzo's career is off and running, but recently, the star ran into controversy that people couldn't ignore. So, what was the controversy surrounding Lizzo's lyrics that dominated social media recently? Well, in her song Girls, the singer used a word that a few people actually realized was a slur. The song goes, Hold my bag, with Lizzo singing over a Beastie Boys sample. She then sang, Hold my bag, do you see this I'm a spy. I'm about to knock somebody out. Yo, where my best friend? She the only one I know to talk me off the deep end. Again, many people were unaware that the slur in question was harmful, but the musician was quickly called out on social media. Twitter user Hannah Divini expressed her disappointment with the singer's use of the slur in a tweet that received nearly 9,500 likes, while also providing context for why the word is offensive to so many. You can tell him that I am single. Okay. I am single. All yeah. Right. She wrote, Hey Lizzo, my disability, cerebral palsy, is literally classified as spastic diplegia, where spasticity refers to unending painful tightness in my legs. Your new song makes me pretty angry and sad. She also spoke with the feed saying, This song, which is ostensibly about female empowerment, also happened to include a pretty intense ableist slur. She then said, I couldn't work out how so many people would have heard this song before it was released and nobody had flagged it with her. The term spaz was one the 22-year-old Sydney resident hadn't heard many times in her life. It had been a playground taunt at school. It has been appropriated colloquially by some, and in this case, Lizzo, to indicate a loss of control or an emotional outburst. Hannah has spastic diplegia, a type of cerebral palsy that causes unending tightness in her body and pain in her legs. Since her ascent to fame, Lizzo has been a fierce advocate for self-acceptance, producing feel-good empowering pop music. The criticism spread quickly after the single dropped, Hannah said, she occupies a really, really important and rare space in the music industry. It's part of the reason why she felt comfortable calling her out. Thankfully, these words reached Lizzo's ears, and in due time, the star responded in the best way possible. The musician took to Twitter to let the world know where she stood on the matter, apologizing and updating fans in the process. She wrote, It's been brought to my attention that there is a harmful word in my new song Girls. Let me make one thing clear, I never want to promote derogatory language. From there, she was able to share her empathy with those that were affected by her words and let people know that she went ahead and dropped a new version of the song, one that all people can enjoy. She then wrote, As a fat black woman in America, I've had many hurtful words used against me, so I understand the power words can have, whether intentionally or in my case unintentionally. She then continued, I'm proud to say there's a new version of Girls with a lyric change. This is the result of me listening and taking action. As an influential artist, I'm dedicated to being part of the change I've been waiting to see in the world. This was huge for the artist, who has always demonstrated herself to be a high-quality individual. Fans were relieved to see Lizzo make amends so quickly, and those who were unaware of the slur were able to take notes and learn a valuable lesson. Hannah then wrote her gratitude towards the artist, replying to Lizzo she wrote, 
I'm going to cry, she then said. Thank you so much for hearing us, Lizzo, and for understanding that this was only ever meant gently and being open to learning. It honestly means the world. You're a real true ally. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.